This is a traffic light system consisting of four sets of LEDs representing traffic lights at a four-way intersection. Each set has a red, yellow and green LEDs which will switch in a sequence simulating real traffic light behavior. For this project, we will need an Arduino Uno board, 12 LEDs, 4 red, 4 yellow and 4 green, 12 to 20 ohm resistors, some jumper wires, a USB cable. Let's wire everything up. Take the breadboard and Arduino. Start with the red LEDs. Insert one red LED on the breadboard. Connect its longer leg that is positive to pin 2 on the Arduino using a jumper wire. Connect its shorter leg that is negative to the ground rail on the breadboard through a 220 ohm register. Repeat this process for the other red LEDs. Pin 5 for the second red LED, pin 8 for the third red LED and pin 11 for the fourth red LED. Insert a yellow LED on the breadboard and follow the same process. Longer leg to pin 3, shorter leg to ground via a resistor. Repeat for the other yellow LEDs using pin 6, pin 9 and pin 12. Place the first green LED on the breadboard. Longer leg to pin 4, shorter leg to ground through a resistor. Do the same for others, connecting them to pin 7, pin 10 and pin 13. Connect the GND pin on the Arduino to the ground rail on the breadboard. For the LEDs, we only need ground connection since they are powered by the Arduino pins. Using the circuit diagram, ensure each LED is connected to the correct pin on the Arduino. Verify all ground connections are secure and resistors are in place. Now download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. First, we define the pins for the LEDs that will represent the traffic signals. Each signal has three LEDs, green, yellow and red. This allows us to control the LEDs connected to these pins using simple digital wear commands. Next, we define the timing for each signal phase. These variables allow us to adjust the signal timing easily. We use a timer interrupt to keep track of seconds and milliseconds. This ensures our timing logic works precisely as the ISR function is called every millisecond. To manage the LED efficiently, we have two custom functions, yellow and open. The yellow function handles the yellow light phase. The open function manages the green light phase for the active signal while ensuring others remain red. In the loop function, we manage the sequence of signals using the mode variable and timers. This creates a cycle where each signal turns green followed by yellow before moving to the next. Finally, the timer interrupt updates the time variables. This ensures the program keeps accurate track of time. And that's how the code works. Now connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button. Alright, we have completed the wiring and coding. Now create four poles using cardboard and solder the LEDs and resistors for stable connection. Arrange the poles on a base to make your traffic light system realistic and presentable. And that's how this project works. The system cycles through the green, yellow and red LEDs for each signal, with defined timing for each light. It uses a timer to control the transition, ensuring smooth traffic light operation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.